All right, here we go. If you know, now you know, it is pool play selection show time. So my name is David Tab. I'm going to be your tournament director for the minor league event here that we got coming up. Aetna, big sponsor, come through clutch, want to do some good stuff. They're Medicare solutions. Uh, they're going to do good things. Uh, so thank you to them. Thank you to all these other sponsors that you see around here and doing stuff. We couldn't do this stuff without them and make it, you know, the experience that we want to deliver for all of you. So what this is, is so you don't think anything's rigged. It is pool play. Uh, these are the, you are in the Duper 16 division. So we actually have two pools of four. And then the top four teams from each, uh, from the division, so the top two from each pool, will make it out into the showdown. We'll play a little single elim to get in there. So you are going to be playing all day. It's freaking hot out. It's Florida. You signed up for a tournament in the beginning of summer. So it's hot. Uh, we do have the Pictona 2 uh, area, so we do have some cover courts. We will evaluate the court situation because we also want to make sure of glare and shadows and things like that. So we're, we want to deliver the best experience possible. And uh, we try to eliminate all the excuses. You hitting in the net is your fault. All right. No excuses there. Uh, but we want you to have a good time and enjoy it. You know, at All Florida, we believe that uh, community, charity, and the competition are all mingled in. For most people that do not know this, Pictona. I've been doing this for a long time, over eight years. When Pictona got built, we were all ecstatic that something like this was happening. But what people don't know is Pictona itself is actually a nonprofit. So we're going to be supporting them and their ventures and Aetna, obviously, supporting what they do and uh, things like that. So um, we're going to be helping them out with some future programming and some things like that. We've done some fighter fighter stuff with them. Uh, they do great learn to plays and other activations. I know. They got a garden and stuff too, but uh, we're focused in on the pickleball side and making sure that we make pickleball an asset to the community. Um, so a couple of things that I know is on everybody's mind and you're probably losing sleep over it, waiting to text me about it and just have it. So I'll just tell you about it now. Uh, we will be following USA Pickleball's guidelines on approved paddles. If your paddle is not on the list of approved paddles, you cannot use it in the event. Period. Pretty simple. All right. Um, it is not the new style of MLP. All right. So minor league pickleball hasn't adopted that yet. This is a national qualifying tournament. So they want to make sure everybody's on the same page, kind of evaluating it to see how it goes and what the feedback is and if there's any more changes. Right. So um, things like that. So it is the old style where it's a game to 21 and you have to win on your serve. So if you're at 20 and the other team's at 10, you stop at 20. We're not calling it a freeze. You just have to win that 21st per point on your serve. Now, you know, to deliver the quality experience that we want to deliver, we do have referees that are on site that will help you if you need help, all right? Um, so don't be fearful. Oh, my gosh, we haven't practiced it, and you're going crazy, and your team captain and, the, you know, that one player on your team that has eight zillion questions isn't driving you nuts, okay? Um, so there's that. Uh, it is in pool play. You will play all four games, so everybody plays, all right? We do it a little different, and we will have a pre-match meeting on how we start because you get to choose home or away. It's in this email, and you go from there, all right? The cool, other cool thing is, if you if you didn't know, now you know. Um, we have a professional league in Florida for our up and coming talent. Florida is by far the number one state for pickleball, and we wanted to give an opportunity for those to for those players to get showcased. So it's actually an all Florida pro league stop. So on championship court, you're gonna see pro level matches and be get a chance to root for locals that are from your area and uh you know. Cheer them on and maybe say hi, get an autograph, whatever, right? Like, we want, we want to have fun and we want to cheer them on and support them. And we're doing lots of cool things there. A um, couple other sponsors. Canary has a new product coming out. We'll be giving you samples of that. And then clubpickle.co, the Club Pickle guys, I mean, they're doing a phenomenal job with our team jerseys. We've got some cool stuff coming out. They'll be out there with their product uh, and doing some more cool stuff for the minor league. Okay. So, 
for the pools. Two t two pools of four. We're going to draw the first four teams, and if you haven't figured out, the other four teams will be in the other pool. Now, we've been broadcasting this event for a few months, so I've been lucky enough to get some insider information on some of these teams. I have some notes on, you know, I might give some away, maybe not, but, you know, we'll do some analysis and see how these pools wrap up. But what's cool about this is, you know, it leaves it up to the wheel, the great wheel of wackiness, randomness, whatever you want to call it, right? The wheel never disappoints, okay? So here we go. Duper 16, pool one, team one is going to be. Oh, waterfalls. That's George's team. Ah, I know they've been they've actually been practicing a lot together. You know, him and Nicole have some strategy that they've been working on and some new trick plays. So chasing waterfalls is gonna be the first team in pool number one, right? Let's see who they're gonna be playing in team number two, pool number one. Here we go. Thunder drop. Thunder drop. There it is. Jesper's team. Um, listen, Jesper's been crafty. Uh, he's been silently playing in some sneaky games. I heard he got into like a speakeasy pickleball event and was actually trying to uh, to recruit players and might have his own professional coach coming out for the event. So uh, the Thunder drop are definitely taking this seriously. Yes, I write this down. Uh, and Jesper looking to come out fire. All right, here we go. Team number three in pool number one. Here we go. Oh, team tennis sucks. The tennis sucks. Uh, no affiliation to tennis sucks podcast. Um, uh, team tennis sucks. Just, you know, angel. Luke, right? Luke's a, Luke's a, been doing it for a while. Uh, Nicole and uh, Maria, all right? But the tennis sucks. The reason they say that is because they, they failed out of tennis. That's why they call that team name that, right? Their two-handed and backhand in tennis didn't quite get them past the high school level. So tennis sucks for them, right? They'd rather play pickleball all day. They're trying to get every tennis court in their town converted into pickleball court, and they won't sleep until that gets done. So team tennis sucks is going to be team number three and uh, pool number one. All right, let's round out this pool here and see what we got. Team number four is going to be boop, hit and run. Hit and run. And no, that's not a team of cops, which would actually be hilarious. All right. So team hit and run. Dana uh, actually talked to uh, their fourth grade teacher um, and has been preparing for this moment since fourth grade. All right. So taking lessons every day since then, which is incredible because the sport was so new. And they said, it's been leading up to this event. So the fourth grade teacher said they were a little chatty in, in, in school, but they see how that translated onto the pickleball court. So we're looking forward to seeing what, uh, what hit and run can do. All right. So that leaves a little bit, uh, the other four teams in there, right? So you got big deal energy, Brian Ridge, uh, actually just played a warm up team tournament last weekend, meddled and, uh, is looking to carry that success on to the court here. All right. So you got <laughs> remember there's a prize for best team name, but we might have somebody in the running here. Chicks and Dinks, Chris. Chris is gonna have some fun, lots of laughs. He will lull you to sleep with jokes and camaraderie, things like that. And before you know it, it's 21 6 in his favor. So don't get caught in the laughter with Chris. All right. Um you got the Donner Party? Uh, yep. We're just going to go ahead and leave that right there. Phil, he's in the JCL clue, uh, crew, the Johnny Come Lately's, uh, being able to do that. And then you got 
Proceeds were why? We're why? 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 Right? Amy and her crew uh, looking to come out, have some fun, support one of their pro league teams. Um, you know, they they're a silent but deadly team. I will tell you that. That's all I can tell you about that team. So, look, we're looking forward to having you here. Um, you know, couple of extra things here is I want to make sure you see right there on the ticker. We're going to meet at 845 where you get to have more bad jokes and uh, answer some more questions. Lunch will be served around 1 p.m. All right. So lunch is included in your registration. Uh, then you'll have the pro league matches going on at the same time. We have a photographer coming out, so we'll get lots of cool team pictures. Um, the ball is going to be one of our sponsors. If I point to it correctly, probably not. Uh, the 1240, good ball um plays right in between a uh, uh, Durfast 40 and a Franklin the heat it will get a little soft just like everything else but um good ball lasts so we will uh and we'll have plenty of them there so they'll also be for sale uh we will have a 50/50 uh going on and I think that's about it I try to keep it under 10 minutes I never do it's 11 minutes into this thing. I hope you enjoy it. I look forward to seeing all of you Saturday. The check-in desk will open up at 8 a.m. If you want to get there early and you're an early riser, if not, make sure you're at the meeting. We do not play around when it comes to timing. We keep these tournaments moving, and we want you to have fun and have a good time, but we also ain't trying to stay there until 10 o'clock at night. So uh, all the matches will be done before that, and we will get out of there, all right? So look forward to seeing you. Hit me up if you have any questions, and toodaloo.